Good day, ladies and gents. We're back with another video. Today, I got a banger for you. We're gonna go and build into the AP201 from Asus with a few other components. I will let you know at the end why we are doing this. And also, keep watching until the end because there are two Easter eggs to find that are left during the video. Let me know down in the comments which one they are, and I will let you know at the end of the video. Now, let's go have a look at the parts, then from one case to the other, and then you will have my opinions. Let's do this.
So we saw the build, we saw the parts. Now, for my opinion, now why did I do this? As you may know, a couple of months ago, I downsized my PC from a bigger tower to a small one, precisely with the Cooler Master NR200P, which is a cool little case. And I built for many, many years in bigger size cases, but that was my first time with a smaller case. So I went with the NR200P because it was easier. I took the laser out, I know, right? What makes the NR200P so good is the fact that you don't get just the case, but you get the AIO cooler and the power supply already inside case and cable managed. So I was like, it's already done. It's gonna be easier. Well, as soon as I start up the PC, while I was very excited, you know, because it's more fun factor, finally I can fit my PC on the desk. Long story short, my CPU was running 100 degrees flat. Even sitting on the desktop, I was in the 90 degrees range. Yes, I know. With the i9 12900K, like any i9 is known to be running hot. So I was like, mm, maybe. So I adjusted the fan curves. I did all my troubleshooting. And after a little while, I found out that the actual AIO was defective. So I contacted the Cooler Master via online chat and I showed them screenshots of temperatures and numbers saying, hey, you know, cooler is not working. And their reply was, the cooler works fine. CPU runs hot. Why don't you try to plug in the fans of the cooler in the case fan header on the motherboard instead of the CPU fan header? My next question then was, hey guys, have you ever built a PC? Because if you ever built a PC before, you know that the PC doesn't start, doesn't boot if there is nothing connected to the CPU fan header so i lost my hope i was outside the amazon return window so i went ahead and bought new parts i got a arctic 240 aio arrived at my place and it was dead burning smell so i had to send it back and now we got the latest parts that you saw in the video keep in mind that what i leave it takes two weeks to deliver in two weeks to send it back, two to three weeks to send it back. So we've been like this since November. I'm glad we are done now because with the new build, my PC runs at 20 to 30 degrees. I haven't changed anything else. 20 to 30 degrees just on the desktop where before it was 80 to 85. I tried to stress test it CPU at 100% boosted. It doesn't go over the 80 degrees, like seriously. Anyway, my final opinion, mostly on the last three components that I got. Let's start with the AIO, the Thermorite 240. Honestly, for the price that I paid, which was about half of the Arctic freezer, CPU runs fine. So, good bang for buck the only downside is you only find the instructions online and also they are half upside down <laughs> try to google it uh, this is where the first easter eggs comes in i started off with the aio mounts on one side and then the pump plate wasn't fitting on top of the cpu so I went and turned around a few times those instructions and then I found out that the mounts have to be top and bottom instead of left and right. So that was the first easter egg for you. But other than that, the cooler is amazing. Power supply. Despite its size, it's really good. It runs very quiet. Downside, the cables are way too short. 
So if you're building in the IP201 and you have like me, a mini ITX motherboard, you do want to buy cable extensions. As you probably have noticed, I haven't cable managed almost at all inside the case. But yeah, do keep in mind that you need cable extensions because the cables on the power supply are very short. Now for the last product, the main reason why we are here and the start of the show, the Asus AP201. I want to say 9.5 out of 10. Why you ask? For one simple reason. Finished the build, went to power it on with the button, and the piece wouldn't start. So I started going off rails because, you know, back and forth with all the parts. So I'm like, I have to return stuff now, back and forth, back and forth. And then I sit down for a moment. I'm like, let me go through mentally all the steps that I did when I built the PC. And then I realize, you know the front panel connectors? Yes, they were plugged in right. At least I, I assume so. But in the front panel connectors, there was no power button. So I went there with the screwdriver, short circuit, the PC like a like a rocket start. So this is why 9.5 out of 10. I'm not a new builder, so I know what I'm doing. So I went back step by step. This is not in the instructions. It just comes from experience. So if you have a new builder, just keep that in mind. There's something can go wrong. Usually with the instructions, you can go through easily, but it is a possibility. So 9.5, but otherwise very, very happy. Despite its size, there is a lot of space inside to build. And also, I know, if it's bigger radiators, even 360 millimeters radiators, but I would not recommend it. Not in this day and age. Fundamentally, you can fit it, but then the power supply would have to be mount a lot lower. And if you have a long GPU, and if you build a new PC, most likely you're gonna go with either a 30 or a 40 series GPU it would not fit. So go with a 240 AIO and then mount the power supply slightly higher like I did. So you have the whole space underneath for your graphics card. Last Easter egg. I showed that I removed the fan at the back when I first got the case, but then I didn't show that I put it back on. The back fan is very important to have it because it gets the hot air out of your system obviously you gotta face it right but this is the main reason why it's always recommendable to have a fan at the back if you learn something in this video make sure you click that thumbs up subscribe to the channel for more channel like this if you like this video i'm sure you will like this video next or this video next until next week horo mates